Hey everyone, Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how we can export an After Effects project as a motion graphics template that we can use and change inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. So I'm inside of Adobe After Effects here and I've just finished creating this basic animated lower third and now I want to bring it into Premiere Pro to use it. Now I could dynamically link this into Premiere Pro just which is basically importing the After Effects comp and then I can change it inside of After Effects and it'll update inside of Premiere Pro or I could export this with an alpha channel and then bring that exported file into Premiere Pro to use it but now there's a better way with this essential graphics workflow I can now create a template which I can change and do everything inside of Premiere Pro let's take a step-by-step -step look at how we can do this Okay, so my first step, I want to take a close look at this project and really understand the elements of this graphic. So this will help us to understand how this is made and which properties we want to be able to change and make editable in our template once we create the template. Okay, so first off here, we have our line graphic at the top. This is a simple shape layer that's going from right to left and reveals our text here. So I want to be able to change the color of this. Then we have two mats here, which are basically doing the reveal. They're animating and they're revealing that text along with the line. And then we have our two text elements here. We have the main name and we have this subtitle here or the title. So I have three things that I want to be able to edit. I want to be able to edit the color of this line and I want to be able to change the text of both of these lines here. So again, this is a very simple graphic. And for the purposes of this tutorial, since I'm just introducing you to the Essential Graphics panel, I'm gonna keep this quite simple. However, just be aware that you can make some really, really complex and dynamic motion graphics templates with this panel. So now let's go ahead and figure out how we can isolate these properties. For step two, I'm gonna actually begin the process of creating this template by bringing over those isolated properties. So first, I need to open up the Essential Graphics panel by going to Window and selecting Essential Graphics. Now with the panel open, the first thing I need to do is select my composition where I'm going to make the template from. So open up the master here and I'm going to go down to my lower third with animated line. Select that. And next I'll create a name. I'm going to type in lower third with animated line. Now when I go to export this after I'm finished creating it, that will be the name of the actual motion graphics template file. So if you look down here, there's a button that says solo supported properties. If I click this, that's going to automatically open up all of the properties within my timeline here in my project, which I can use inside of the Essential Graphics panel. I'm going to full screen this. You can see that there are quite a few properties that we can isolate here. Okay, I'll close this and I'll go ahead and close this. Now, I said there are three different properties that I want to be able to make editable inside of my template once it's inside of Premiere Pro, and that is the color of this line and these two text elements here. So to do that, let's start to isolate these. First, I'll open up my line shape element here, open up contents, and then open up the rectangle. You'll see there's a fill here. I can open up the fill, and there is our color property. Now it's as simple as just grabbing this property and dragging it straight over into the Essential Graphics panel. And once I release, you'll see now I have a color picker and I have my color wheel here. I can change that and I can even rename this line color. And now we're just going to go ahead and do that to the other two properties. I'm going to close this. Now I'll go to the Boon text element, open up the text here and then you'll see here is a source text property. I'm going to drag this over and now you can see we have our source text here. I'm going to rename this, call it name, and this is good to go. And I, I can actually change it now right here in the Essential Graphics panel and it will update. So if I just say Jason, you can see it updated here dynamically. I'm going to change that back. Okay, and last but not least is our title here. I'm gonna go down, open this up, and drag the source text of this one in. And I'll rename this title. Now, you can also add comments as well. Things start to get pretty complex. You can, comments can keep you organized. And I'll just move that up here. You also want to be sure to set your poster time, which is this button right here, which is already set quite nice. Sometimes it defaults to the beginning of your clip, 
And if you have an animation, you'll see that it's black. And when you go to reference this inside of Premiere Pro, it's gonna show you a thumbnail and you're not gonna see anything, so that's not ideal. So what I like to do is move my playhead to the position where I wanna create the thumbnail, set that poster time, and now we can see it set there and that's good to go. Okay, so I have my name set. I have all my properties that I want isolated here. I've set my poster time. So now I'm ready to export this as a motion graphics template. And if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner of the panel, you'll conveniently see export motion graphics template. I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna ask me to save my project first. Next, it'll bring up this dialog box. It'll allow me to select a destination where to save my file, and it's showing you the file extension here. It's a .mogrt file. This means motion graphics template. Also, we can see some compatibility settings. If I select these checkboxes, when I import this into Premiere Pro, it's gonna give the user uh, warnings, basically saying if they don't have the font installed or available, then they can't use the font, and it'll be automatically substituted with something else or if they need After Effects installed in order to use the Motion Graphics template. Some templates require that. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now it's time to head on over to Premiere Pro. Once inside Premiere, I'm gonna go to Window and select Essential Graphics. Now to add my Motion Graphics template, I'll go down to the bottom right hand corner of the panel here and you'll see the Install Motion Graphics Template button. I'm gonna click on this, then navigate to my Mogurt file, select Open, and now it will be added to my library here, my templates. I'm going to scroll down and find it. Here it is, lower third with animation. So I'm going to now simply drag this straight over into my sequence. Now let's have a look. Close this a little. There we go. There is our lower third. Now I'm going to resize this. Now all I need to do to edit this is to select it here, and it's going to bring up the edit tab of the essential graphics panel and now here are all of our properties so let's see how how we can change this here so let's click here on the color change that to blue click ok and there we go voila our line changed to blue let's see we want to change this to the full name and let's say my job changed I'm now a carpenter there we go. One other thing that makes this very versatile and dynamic is if I hold Alt here and make a copy, then I change this one, it's going to be different and completely separate of the first. So now we have two different ones. We can make as many as we want here. Very versatile, very dynamic. And as I said before, this is a very basic and simple example of using this workflow. You can get quite complex. If you're an advanced After Effects user, you can use expressions and expression controls to control all kinds of different attributes and properties, such as kerning, tracking, even the duration of the animation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.